when there's a, a disaster facing us, when there's a heartache, grief, we, we petition the Bani Shlem, we turn to the Bani Shlem with, with, with prayers with Tvila. Yeah. Don Melech. Don Melech said, much brings, he requested from the Bani Shlem, he requested that what he composed his safer tilim should be accepted just like Nigoim Vahalis. Nigoim Vahalis, two attractive, the which entires from the mission from the Talmud, which deals with impurities, Nigoim Vahalis, with uh, leprosy, with the plagues. They should be accepted, his tilim should be accepted, that he composed, should be accepted like Negoim Bolis. Why, why, what's up with Negoim Bolis? Why the answer of Bani Shalom should be accepted like Negoim Bolis? Why the answer be accepted like Nezikim, like Kochim, like Noshim? Kochim, Bani Shalom, Kochim, Korbonis, something that's sanctified, holy. What's up with Negoim Bolis? In Parshish Mitzayra, it's, it's brought down like this, that the, when a, a certain form of leprosy appears and to determine whether the person is afflicted with it is in a stage of tumme, of impurity, he has to be examined by the Kohen and the Kohen determines whether he's in that stage of impurity, and then also when he enters another stage of, of, of purity, of, of Torah. And the Quran has to also, uh, he examines him and then he has to recite if, if he's pure, if, if, the, if it's the stage of the, of the disease, the leprosy is such that uh, reaches a certain stage, he has to declare the Tahir and then he's pure. If it so happens that the claim that's only available is someone who's not a Tahir scholar, not Tamil Chokham, and he's not versed in the laws, in the protim, the details of what <coughs> is and halachically what is and what isn't Tor, so he summons a, a Yisrael, a Talmud Chokham, and he examines it, and he passes, he adjudicates, he issues, he renders a halacha that is Torah, but it's still not Torah. The Koyen, who is, who is not versed, who is the Namoris, he then has to come along 
and he says Toher that is pure. Just by even though he can, he didn't examine, he can't examine, he's not versed, he doesn't know what he's seeing, he doesn't know what he's seeing there. He doesn't know he just he has to say Toher is pure and the one who's afflicted he goes from the stage of impurity to purity. The Ramach also, this is what he wanted. He said, Rabbi Shlem, when the Klai Yishlem, go ahead and help When your children, they'll take my shepherd to them, and they don't know, they're not familiar, they can't translate it, they're not versed in Hebrew, they don't know what they're saying. But they're saying, Yad HaShem B'yayim Tzora. They're saying words, they're, they're petitioning the heavens, Rabbi Yishlem, and they don't know what they're saying. But they know they have to turn to the Rebbeinu this time, just by reciting his Tilim alone. The Rebbeinu asked the Rebbeinu "Please let it be like the Goyim always, like when the Koyin says Torah. He doesn't know what he's saying. Torah, and he's not versed in the same thing. So we'll, we'll, we'll recite Ezra Kapitel like Tilim for the or Shiv for Mount Elon, Shlemi Rachmi Shlemi Akoyin, other Chavayim, and they should listen to our Tilim." To grant them a full shlem, they should all deliver Mashiach, Mary, Amen. Amen. The belly. Let's see. Kuflam and Kuflam and Base with the belly. Possibly, I was Kuflam and Kuflam and Base. Coming from there, so your tears mean something now. What you say a few words? Kuflam. Kuflam. Sure, I'm not. Sure. <laughs> 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 <laughs>